Welcome to The Upper Room on Gilgal TV Network. Hello, this is Gilgal TV Network, and we welcome you to The Upper Room. The Upper Room promotes the sound teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ through the breakdown and analysis of Christian books based on biblical principles. These biblical principles form the bedrock of many books written by our dear man of God, God, Pastor Jerry Udo. The revelational teacher, he's our preacher, our leader, and the foundation of Gilgal Christian Center. This is the platform to dissect, study, critically analyze how these books have practical application to and in our daily living. The Upper Room is a program that promotes an in-depth breakdown of Christian books. Learn how these principles affect and can practically enhance your life. Join our set of panelists every Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, for the weekly episode on our Gilgal TV network. It is time for inspirational, motivational, and refresh yourself in the spirit as we prepare for the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Come join us in the upper room. Hello everyone, and one, welcome once again to our newest episode on Upper Room. Today we'll be discussing what sin is. Sin is a very large topic in the Christian world. We're always trying to define it in so many different ways. Today we'll spend so, many, so much time dissecting that and understanding what makes a Christian sin and does God expect us to remain sinless. My name is Janet Omandi. And I'm here with... Seth Amwako Ellis. Odell Nouvel. And I am Kenne. And we'll just go ahead and start from the top. So what do you guys define as a sin? <clears throat> One thing we should know is our dependence on the Holy Spirit, you know, in these kind of matters. Like, for example, um, it's all about faith, you know, what God thinks, all right? Like, for example, we talk about the uh, spies, you know. In, we, in, it's not just the spies. Let's also talk about Jephthah. He sacrificed his. Daughter. I was just about to talk about that. The spirit is moving. <laughs> so he was. He, he sacrificed his daughter. Mind you, that is a sin. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like the ordinances of God is that no, no human sacrifice. Mm -hmm. it's but yet in Hebrews, in the midst of all that thing, God was able to find faith. Faith. He said, but you see something like by faith. Jephthah. The, the New Testament was like, oh, he. The, the truth was that he actually, if, if it's, he actually, uh, not, he actually sinned, not based on, okay, his will, it's just because, okay, he made this pronouncement. And that's because the knowledge of God as of that time in Israel was missing. You know, they were incorporating all this, um, this sin, uh, cultures from their this sin. And that, that thing kind of, they knew God, but they didn't know His ways anymore. You know, in the in the book of Judges, they didn't know His ways anymore. But Jephthah, in the midst of that thing, in the midst of all all those all those this in sacrificing his daughter, this person Rahab, in the midst of lying, God found faith. So this one, it's. There are some answers. It's only God that can answer it. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what I was about yeah, to say. It's, it's like, only, and someone like the situation you made, yeah, you perhaps you did it from your own decision, but the thing is that you know the ordinances of God. At the same time, you want to help somebody. The thing now is that it's not even, the, the question is not what you think. It's what, what, God what is God thinking? Mm -hmm. Will God look at that thing that you What's the as, 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 and, and, and say that? Is this is is this what I told you to do? Mm -hmm. So that's the we um, we we might be we, we might be right in our in our yeah, thinking. Right, yeah. That's why the Bible says that uh, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, especially with the area of sin. So uh, uh, that, that, I wanted I wanted to say something in regards to also what you had said about that whole you know sacrificing his daughter and things like that. I feel like yes, there's also an aspect of faith, but there's also a, an aspect of favor that God finds in His own people, mm. who, whatever the situation is. For instance, um, this might not be directly related to what you had said, but the king of Moab, who you know sacrificed his son at the war, we're discussing this a um, few weeks later with Abel and a couple of our other friends. Um, God had already spoken to, you know, to, um, I think, Edom, the king of Edom and the other different two kingdoms that were coming. 
that you guys are going to prevail. You guys are going to win the war. You guys are going to take over the place and destroy the Moabites. And in the in the in the aspect of the whole fight, the king of Moab saw that he was getting taken over. So he took his son and he sacrificed the son on that wall. Now, at that particular point, the 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 the, the calamity that was going to fall on them, do you get what I'm saying, was diverted. So at the end of the day, people can say, okay, and I had, that was my position. That was my position at the whole time. I felt that, okay, well, God had said that they were going to destroy the Moabites. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so far as I'm concerned, what the king of Moab did is wrong. You get what I'm saying? You are, first of all, you don't even worship God. You don't acknowledge God. You are sacrificing your eldest son. You get what I'm saying? That shouldn't affect anything. God has already spoken it. God has already said it. It should happen. You get what I'm saying? But there are different principles in in the word of God and the whole this whole sacrifice thing that 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 day my eyes opened to understand that God follows certain principles and even to the point where you might think that because you have also you are Christian, you are well abiding this thing mm -hmm. and that, but there are certain things that I consider sin, there's certain things that God will show favor to yeah. and just like disregard sin or follow behind certain things that we might consider sin. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's kind of hard and I feel like I feel like there are times where I have a grip on what sin is and then mm -hmm. there are other times where I read another story in the Bible and I get shot. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So It's like what you say with Jasper because I, we have to remember he made a confident with God. So if he had went back on that confidence that he made with God, that would have been a greater sin. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because he clearly said, whoever embraced me first, I will sacrifice. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So that was, that's what it comes down to like what she said. We can't lean our own thinking to define what sin is. Yeah. Because when you say sin, sin is not a straightforward. Yeah, it's, not a straight it's, not, it's not a straightforward. It's like, there is God's way of sin, and mm -hmm. then there's our own knowledge of sin. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? God's knowledge of sin is completely sometimes different. sometimes those two lines cross. cross. Yeah. yeah. Like, what you might say, oh, okay, I lied to do this. And yeah, I'm yeah, saying, but you, you lied to, to save a soul. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? You have to be updated of God's Exactly. Right. So, right. What, what, it's what, always updated, so, like, the iPhone of this. Yeah, yeah, that's why it comes in by lead with wisdom. Like, go with wisdom and go with the word. Of, like, go with wisdom and, like, go with God at the same and time. also the relationship of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, and God right. Right. The, the basic thing is that we have to understand when the child is born, mm -hmm. that child doesn't know any law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because that child doesn't know any law, that child is not sinning. Well, hold on. We have what we call uh, um, a sin that you have inherited mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and your own sin. Okay. And that is when you read um, Ezekiel 18. We'll tell you about, um, um, in the, the, they used to say that um, um, the, the children will, 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 will uh, like, uh, if I should paraphrase it, they uh, um, inherit, this. inherit the sense of uh, the punishment of their the fathers. Father eight grieves, and then the, the children are children aged, uh, uh, yeah. That is aspect, but in Ezekiel is saying that no. If uh, that child, okay, that child is not doing what the father did, that uh, punishment is not on, on the child. So as we inherit a son from our forefathers, Adam and Eve, what that child hasn't committed anything on his own mm -hmm. or on her own, okay? It is when the child is growing, then they teach the child what is good and what is right, uh, what is bad. And sometimes okay. the kid also develops their own understanding. <laughs> so yeah. what the, you you get to know the basic understanding of the rules from your parents. Your environment. Your environment. your environment. your environment. Don't do this. Don't do that. I'm expecting you to do A, B, C, D. When you wake up, I want you to sweep here clean the dishes, and do this. And lay your bed, make sure that everything is done. That is your, uh, uh, your duty. Your duty. So when, as a child, when you wake up, 
you, you, you see that this is right for me to do, and the child will do A, B, C, D. Any time the child would refuse to do it, the parents would, dis uh, they, um, would express their displeasure. That why I told you to do A, B, C, D, you didn't do it. Okay, so now the child is not doing it. The child is committing his or her own sin because of, of what? Disobedience. Okay, now you, you are getting to know that all that we know is from where? Until God gave this set of rules to the Israelites, they were living in a different lifestyle. Okay, they were di living a different lifestyle away from God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jehovah or Yahweh. Okay, now that He has given them these rules, it is a yardstick for them to do what, to follow, to look at it and obey. Okay, so it is not about a uh, uh, moral law because. Out of these laws became the moral law. Because we get the knowledge came from who? God gave this. So it is for us to know exactly what it is and what we're supposed to do and what we need not to do. So if you are requiring uh, to do what is God is expecting of us and we don't do it, that is where we sin. Well, morals, rather, I would say, morals don't necessarily derive themselves from the rules of God because man had already, before the laws were given, you get what I'm saying? Mm. Men had already deciphered what was right and wrong. I mean, if you go back to him, I bet quote, to differ. Yeah. If, if you go back to, just listen, if you go back to times, right, of, of old, even if, for instance, let's say they take away the laws of this land, do you get what I'm saying? Within our own small communities, well, whichever community you find yourself, African, uh, uh, you know, Asian, white, black, whatever, there is a consensus, there's, a, there's a, some shape or form of moral conduct that everyone has. It might not be too cut and dry, but there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a general right and wrong decision. You get what I'm saying? And so I feel like when you say morals come directly from our Christian morals, I can say, you know, things like abstinence and, you know, uh, you know, practicing true, I mean, practicing, uh, telling the truth, all these other kinds of things. Those come from the fact that we were raised, you know, in, in, in the Christian religion. But there are some other things, there are some other morals that also come from just the culture that you come from, you know, or where you find yourself growing up, like, if you find yourself African from African background or Asian background, I think things like respect are very much emphasized. Yeah, you come yeah. to the United as United States, it's not well, necessarily you know. It's like okay, it's well, okay to you know if you, you meet an elder, you don't really it. have to greet them. Like right? it's okay, you know. So that's that's wishy washy, but yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. What we talk uh, about. Let me. Uh, uh, the reason why I, I, I said that I bet to differ is mm -hmm. that um, who created the earth? God. God created the earth. Right. Who gave the first instruction? God. God. Do not eat the fruit. Yeah. So, having given that uh, uh, <coughs> instruction, became the basics for their way of life, because he told so, Adam that don't eat this, okay. name the animals, tilt the land. And so, when okay. the enemy entered the equation, right? When when the devil entered the equation. With him, he also brought his own, in him, you know, his own set of rules telling them, okay, you eat this fruit, you become like God. You know, and that can be very vast. You get what I'm saying? You have more of your own knowledge and understanding of what right is wrong. And so you can kind of make your life and shape your reality according yeah. to what you feel. Understand. And that is what, hold on, and that is why we are talk, uh, talking about this topic. Yes. Uh, that is why we are, we, are, we are having this discussion. Because we ought to know that um, God gave these rules. Mm -hmm. When you go against God's rules, you have sinned against God. I have not sinned against Satan. I have sinned against God. And it is God who is going to do what? Who is going to judge me? Mm -hmm. 
Satan is not going to judge me because he is also going to be judged. <laughs> okay, let's let's okay, let's let's think about this this way. Okay. The the law of the land is also said in the temple, that shall not kill, right? Mm -hmm. So murder is wrong. Mm -hmm. So now when you kill someone in self defense, there's a giveaway in there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If someone die and they die in self defense, you trying to protect yourself, there's a giveaway in there. You get what I'm saying? So it comes down to, like we said, what we might perceive as sin. Mm -hmm. God might not perceive it as sin. You know what I'm saying? We can't lean on our own thinking, our own knowledge to say, this is what sin is, this is wrong, and that. We can say this is wrong, but God is looking at a different way and say, well, you did this because of this reason, and this reason saves something, and this actually aligned with my will. So this is not it's even sin. in the Ten Commandments. Yeah. No. So you now, why we think it's sin? You, 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 God is yeah. thinking that's not sin. You are actually following my words, like Pastor say. Uh, what did he say? He said you say um, it's red and yeah, like this is this is the uh, white, this is the white you see, white, and then God saying, "Oh, turn out it's red," and he said, "This is red." We see our sin, but he actually found the will of God. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So would you? It's we not can't, so cousin, you, 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 It's not. It's not a, 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 a plain white vision that you just say yes I know you can't because what you see is not what I see you get what I'm saying mm -hmm. this might be rare to you but this is blue to me mm -hmm. so it, 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 it's not saying that we can live in our own understanding you also have to factor in the laws of the land yeah. yeah because if you okay that like one day you used another thing that um if you let's say on so instead no church mm -hmm. you get what I'm saying and then we now want to go to church that's Sunday is the day we go to church mm -hmm. You are going against the rule of the land, but you're also not going against God. So you're not sinning. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Somebody else might think that. They might say, oh, oh, you are sinning. You're like, you're not following the rules of the land. But me, I'm following the will of God. Now, if I stay home and say, oh, I'm following the rules of the land, I'm sinning against God. It's just deciding which precaution It's just deciding which, which way you want, which no, one is like, more okay. important. I'll put it like this. Bible, the Ten Commandments say, thou shall not kill. But later, God will say, go and plunder the land. Go and plunder the land. Women, children, cut off everybody. Kill, just, kill, just every, destroy. kill everybody. Destroy them. Kill everybody. Make sure. So, it's, the thing is that, the, like, like a, the verse, for Proverbs 3 verse 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not. not. On your own. Don't, don't, you can't see the fact that uh, the, the Ten Commandments says, thou shalt okay. shall not do this thing. You'll be sure God will tell you, go do one. Like, <laughs> okay, like, okay, I'll bring out another thing. The Bible says that um, it, it, the, command, the Bible commands us to obey the law of the land. Mm -hmm. But yet, you know... God will tell you, don't bow down to that God. They say, don't, if the law of the land tell, tell you, bow down to this thing, and uh, government tell you that um, uh, don't worship God mm. again. Like what 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 do you do at that at that point? You where where does God. your allegiance stand? You know, immediately. So like um like okay, like for example, when when you brought up about a child, the thing is that the nature of sin is already in what, the child. It's already the child. in the child. Exactly. It's not like the child you can't teach a child a child does not need to teaching be taught this, to be sin. taught to lie. Mm. To to be taught to steal. Talk just leave him there. Just leave him there. Okay, he will take that case. Just leave, take just, just leave him there. Yeah? Like, at the age of me, at the, at the age of, uh, I don't know, I was, I was very small at that time. I didn't know what fire was. I didn't know that fire was, would burn. It was very beautiful in my eye until I touched it. You know, until I, <laughs> until I touched it. So it's, it's like that, okay? We, we now, um, um, we, like, Thanks to Jesus, we can now yeah, have no mercy and no we, we have this. Uh, we, we can now have hope that we cannot be like God. You can now you, you no longer have that nature of sin again. Mm -hmm. But you know, once you are born into this world, you're, like uh, David said, I have been evil from the day I was mm -hmm. born. From before I was conceived, mm -hmm. I have been sin. So where, 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 how did, was he, did he have that consciousness, no. consciousness in the, this thing? No. no. So it's, 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 some, it's something, it's, it's more like that. It is like that. Sin is not just, um, it's not, it's not, it's not, uh, it's what God, what God says is sin. 
It's sin. sin. Period. It's sin, and so you have why to. You, mad thing is you sin? Not like sin. I told, like I said, it's relationship based. Yeah. You have to be up to date with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Like the way you take your feed on on Facebook and Instagram, yeah. you have to make sure if you Holy up to date. You have to be up to date. If Holy Spirit tells you, don't go out today. Don't don't, uh, go, out. don't go out. Today you you have a fifteen million contract, and the Holy Spirit tells you, you don't stay, sign it. Don't don't sign. Don't go out today. That the, what the will so, of God is, and your so, will come in. So the bigger question is, what makes Christians sin? That's a lot. Right. I I would, I, I would say that um, what makes a Christian sin is more to do with going against what is uh, what God is requiring from you as a Christian. Uh, there's no any other thing that will make you sin unless you go contrary to the word of God. Yes. If God is saying that um, do A, B, C, D and you do it, you are doing the will of God. Mm -hmm. uh, I can have brought about the um, killing of uh, God we say go and kill uh, those people. You see, um, in the Bible, not yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God instructs for them to be killed because what they have done is against Him. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But it's essentially, in, in, in the raw, of, of raw like, look of things, killing, period, is wrong. No, you, is see, wrong. What, what, you see, and that's why I will take you back to the, uh, the Ten Commandments. Who were the target audience of, the, of God? Yeah, the Israelites. His people now. Yes, and that is what I started by saying that he is creating a new nation. So he is giving them a set of rules that when you follow these rules, you will live in a harmony, a harmonious way to each other. Okay, why should I kill you? I will kill you because of something. Something like what? Something like um, uncovering my wife. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. I, there, there's a tendency in me that will push me to take your wife. Okay? And that is how God put it that in order for the two of you to live in a harmonious life or harmonious society, don't do such a thing. Mm -hmm. Because if I'm not doing it, you are not doing it. There won't be any fight. There won't be any fire. There won't be, there won't be any, any, any killing. So the killing was more to do with the society, the group that he has put together. I said, you are what? A royal uh, priesthood. priesthood. A holy nation. A holy nation. He chose them. Mm -hmm. Okay? So his target audience, these Ten Commandments were given to them for them to live. If they live according to it, they will enjoy the land. Mm -hmm. Okay? But here is the case. Anytime you go against it, you are behaving like the other people. Yeah, yeah. That I, des I despise them. Okay, so, and that is why the other time in doing the Bible uh, studies, I brought about um, God doesn't love everybody. Okay, mm. why did I say that? Because when you look at Sodom and uh, Gomorrah, there were people living, but because their way of life was distasteful to God, God did what? He sent brimstone, fire. To come and then uh, to burn all of them. I thought that was more for punishment. Yeah. But why do you punish? And because, okay. No, why do you punish? Okay, let's see. Let's you punish for uh, what is uh, what is not required for you to do. But because if, you if you are disobeying God, if you are disobeying God, mm -hmm. and God hates disobedient child, mm -hmm. He doesn't love disobedient child. Okay, but I think this is okay. This this is the thing. It's right? kind of, okay. So. Like you said, child, right? You mm -hmm. give birth to your child, you have your child. If the child go do wrong, right? You never wanna kill your child. You will punish your child, right? To show the other children this is wrong. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're not gonna knock up and say, "Oh, I don't love you, so they, I don't love, I kill okay. you because I don't they love you." Go, let, let, let the same, the same, the same God let me, said that. Let me put, let me go put this into perspective. and kill them. Let me put this into perspective for you, brother. Brother, right. well, brother said, okay. the okay. thing is, right? When you say God does not love everybody, that's a very, very that's, strong, that's a big error. It's it's very, very, because it's very because, very, very, because very the thing, the thing is, we need to define, we need to decipher things. God hates sin. Mm -hmm. God does not hate that does not choose who he the sinner. So when you say, okay, I am saved, God loves me, and then everybody else outside everywhere, God hates. That is a statement of error. God created every single one of us, sinner included. There in is listen, listen, mm -hmm. in his own image. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, what, one thing I've noticed about you, brother, said you really like to refer to the Old Testament. Let's bring it to now. Like, okay. even, even in the Older Testament, there's still remnants of what I'm about to say. Mm -hmm. But let's bring it to now, because the thing is, when you now talk about the Israelites, back in the day, there was a, there, there was a you know, there was the, the Israel, God's chosen people. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? And then the other. Now, let's now look in the now. Right? Where now, God has come to die for all. All of us. Right? Okay. John three sixteen. So when you look at it in that, when you look at it in that state, even back in the day, in, in as much as they were not called Israelites, it's not to look at it and say, "Oh, God hated them and only it was these people that God chose." No, there were certain levels of sin mm -hmm. that God had seen that it had gotten somewhere. Even when God decided to flood the earth mm -hmm. and only take uh, Noah and his family, let's look at that. Do you get what I'm saying? When God sees that there's a there's, there's, there's an uncontrollable um, uh, uh, tendency of sin taking over, God would will do what? Will tend to punish. try to attempt to wipe the sin out. It's more of punishment. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So at first, there the are certain places in the Bible where God has now sent prophets to go warn nations. Before he what? Mm, Before yeah, he that's, brings them that's down. Actually, Why would God go actually. send prophets to go warn these nations if God hated them? To, to, to whatever regard, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And even in this in, in this day and age, where we don't, it's not like, oh, these are these are the, 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 the chosen ones and these are not the chosen ones. We, God died for all of us. You can still see that God shows favor to those who are not even saved. God will extend an arm more than he will. That's, that's what we have said, that the, in, in, this, in this world, you will see that Christians are suffering more than the, 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 the ones who are out there. And it's not to say that God is, is, is ignoring his own people, but there's a principle to God as well. Oh, my friends, my family, my fans out there, how are you doing? I am Desmond Walter Oriahi. Uh, first, I want to introduce these books that a friend of mine, Edwin, introduced to me. I want you to go have a taste of it. Are you tired of unanswered and ineffective prayers? Are you really tired of, of unanswered and ineffective prayers? Need to learn targeted and effective prayers? Just go get these books. Just go get, go get it. The first one is God of Judgment. And the other one is Second Chance. Written by Pastor Dr. Jerry Udo. Just go get this book, okay? And see it to, to turn around. There is power mighty in the word of God. Alright, bye.